Hey Sagittarius, it's Diane 303 High Priestess. This is your weekly reading for June 2021. Let's jump into your reading here, Sag. See what your spirit team wants you to know. <laughs> Every last one of the fire signs got the nine of cups as I'm opening up the deck here, okay? Uh, you guys also have the six of swords that is coming in here. Talking about passage, okay? Passage here from confusion, from backstabbing energy, from conflict and stress and you fighting too damn hard, okay? That's what I'm feeling, all right? Um, and I feel like you're definitely entering a time here in June that is going to be um, more emotionally fulfilling with the Nine of Cups here. A lot of you guys will get a wish fulfillment here um, due to the way that you are thinking a change of mind or a change of heart okay towards your situation or a person what okay you got the queen of swords marching in like a boss okay that's really good all right and the nine of cups showing up here like they they want to remind you of how uh prosperous you're going to be here all right let's keep going get your cards out here sagittarius mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay so there's some review about the past or there's something you need to know about the past we're going to clarify one of these cards i'll get into this part of your reading but let's see what your spirit team wants you to know here this week if this reading resonates with you guys, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, join the family, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload for you again, okay? If this reading does not resonate with you, make sure you check your moon rising and Venus sign, Mercury and Mars to get a clear picture of what you are dealing with here this week or throughout June whenever you watch this video, right? My cards here for Sagittarius, please. Okay. That's what it is, dear. You're not dealing with drama and gossip. <laughs> All right. We're going to use one more deck here, Saj, to get your message out. Your cards here for Sagittarius, please. What other message do you have here for Sagittarius? Okay, thank you. Mm. It's a particular person you're not dealing with anymore. This may be a love interest or a past lover, okay? Or a, a current lover. We'll see here, okay? Sad, you guys have gossip and drama. This is the end of it. 19, 9 plus 1 is 10. There's an ending to something, okay? The ending to this gossip and this drama here. That's what I was saying in the beginning of your reading, and that is what they are showing us right now. You don't want to be in the middle of chaos. You don't want to deal with chaotic energy anymore. You want to, You don't want to uh, deal with illusions and um, someone that is unsure about you, okay? So your card is saying talking behind people's back is one of the greatest producers of negative energy. For some of you, this is a friend. That's what I'm hearing, okay? Um, is the producer of negative energy with the potential to affect not only individuals, but entire communities. Make a choice not to involve yourself in this. This card also acts that if you are unable to find anything positive to say then please consider saying nothing this could be a message to, to the person that you're dealing with okay it could also be a message to you too here sagittarius like if this person is giving you toxic toxic energy like bad vibes and bad they're talking behind your back they're just doing the most unnecessary things here okay towards you here uh and you want to lash out you want to defend yourself um but it's not going to help you in the long run because i feel like you won't be able to change this person this is who they are right now spirit is definitely letting me know that you just need to turn your back on this person and put some uh boundaries up put some space between you and this situation or this person here okay some of you guys are dealing with a scorpio 
that's ready to sting, okay? Uh, this energy is intense, masterful, thoughtful, and magically charming, secretive at times, okay? So you guys, some of you guys are dealing with someone that is very secretive. Um, <clears throat> but also, <laughs> the card is saying, but also secretive and possessive here, okay? So you're dealing with possibly a Scorpio that is uh, displaying their bad side, <laughs> that's what I'm feeling here this is the person you need to distance yourself from this person could have Scorpio in their chart anywhere some of you guys could have Scorpio in your chart here as well okay you want to lash back at this person because I believe Sagittarius you could be on the cusp of Sag and Scorpio um, and that's why that card is showing up for you guys. So uh, they're saying there's a better way to resolve an issue. And that is you putting up healthier boundaries for yourself, okay? To protect yourself. So you have unhappiness here, okay? There's this definite need here um, for you to put distance between you and some, some situation or someone else here. I'm saying this because a chariot card is showing up. Six plus one is seven. Seven is a chariot card in the major arcana. This is you moving forward, leaving the past behind you, and you focusing on progress in your life here, okay? Progressing uh, past this unhappy or unpleasant situation or person here, okay? Your card is saying unhappiness. Unhappiness is frequently the result result of an inability to live in alignment with the calling of our soul when this happens our um our uh, uneasy and challenging emotions are an indication that we need to listen to ourselves so your intuition is speaking to you you're getting gut instincts that you need to put some distance between you and a, and a person or situation you need to listen to yourself here okay and trust your instincts all right um Trust that voice inside that you're hearing, okay? This card asks you to have faith and to trust. <laughs> Get still, meditate, listen to the voice of your heart, and open yourself to receive guidance here, okay? And you have the sixth house that is coming in. There's this, this really big need for you guys to work on yourself here, okay? Uh, when this card is talking about meditating or um, getting still to listen to your higher self, that's why the sixth house is showing up as well. Uh, some of you guys need to exercise in order to get out some frustration and really clear your mind clear your head um the sixth house looks this card is saying the work uh health and duty area of your life this is the work health and duty area of your life here okay so put your focus into your skills into your job into bettering your health exercising meditating getting to a peaceful state of mind body and spirit so there's this need for you to balance your equilibrium okay and don't neglect any part of that your mind your body and your your spirit here okay so that's what your spirit team is letting me know this week all right so you have yes say yes to change <laughs> say yes to putting up boundaries to protect yourself okay your card is saying what are you waiting for the answer to your question is yes you're wondering should i just not deal with the situation or this person the answer is yes okay um am, am i giving too much is probably yes okay um are you feeding into drama and gossip and negativity probably yes and you need to sit, uh, distance yourself in some way here okay you have jupiter that's coming Coming in here your confidence courage self-belief and luck okay Jupiter is all about you feel uh, needing freedom from a situation or a person here okay and living your life um, untapped <laughs> untapped okay this is you freeing yourself from difficulties and uh, chaos and drama okay so you need to bypass this um, this energy have confidence in yourself that you will be okay uh releasing yourself from things that keep you unbalanced and uh just take your power away here okay with the jupiter energy uh, they definitely want you to focus on your own confidence and have courage to say no to situations that uh feel toxic okay and draining here right focus on your own power at this time with that jupiter energy that's coming in so they're talking about miracles this is a message from the divine energy your ancestors um 
Yes, that's what I feel like that number 33 is, okay? So this is a divine message. They want you to go through some transformation within self. With this butterfly, they want you to allow change to come into your life here, okay? Um, your card is saying we tend to perceive miracles only when our personal desires are met. And yet when we look back, almost all of us will be able to recall a crisis or a challenge that ultimately proved to be a miraculous turning point. Okay. And an extraordinary gift. This card asks you to see the miracles that surround you right now and in every situation here. So something that you felt even you releasing yourself from someone or you not being friends with someone or not being in a relationship with someone may have felt like a crisis or a challenge, okay? Even whatever you lost in your life may feel challenging here, but it's also giving you the gift of um, being able to open yourself up to, to new things here, okay? It's also growing your soul here. That's what I feel like your spirit is saying. Your soul is growing and it's moving in the right direction. So go ahead and allow yourself to experience this change. Uh, learn from your um, from your experiences. And um, really, I feel like they're wanting you to find balance in your life. That's what I feel like they're wanting you to do. So you have Mercury energy that is coming in here, okay? The question is, um, well, they're letting you know how you think, communicate, write, talk, and travel. That's what Mercury energy is all about here, okay? Which may perhaps be a little difficult with this Mercury retrograde going on here, okay? Uh, communicating. Uh, there may be some misunderstandings here, okay? So don't take it too hard. Okay, later on here at the end of June, things will start to become more clear to yourself and a lot of people that you're trying to communicate with. Um, Mercury retrograde can really mess up uh, communication and ideas that you may have um, inside your head. <laughs> And with others, okay? Like, I'm struggling right now myself here, okay? With this energy flowing through. But, um, yeah, they, they want you to focus on how you communicate with others here. That's what I feel like they're saying. How you think, how you communicate, write, talk, and travel here. Just keep that in mind. And um, just know that there may be some difficulty, difficulty in this area. Um. But things will start to lighten up here towards the end of June. All right. Whew. Okay. All right. That's what I'm feeling. I was going to clarify that, but I think we got that together here. Sagittarius. Let's go into your cards for the week. I feel like they want me to clarify that. I have to do it. <laughs> I didn't want to go back into it, but I have to do it, okay? We're going to clarify the Miracles card that's coming in here, okay? In Mercury Retrograde. What is going on with Sagittarius and this um, Mercury card? And this miracles card. What would you like Sagittarius to know? They're saying they want you to see the miracles that surround you right now and in every situation. I feel like some of you guys may have a tower moment here. Okay. Old memories or okay. All right, there's some relationship that you're going to have some difficulties with. That's what I'm saying. You have the Three of Cups coming up here. You also have the Three of Cups showing up in your past here, okay? You may have old friends that come back towards you, old lovers or old relationships, okay? Um, childhood connections that you may have had here, okay? But I feel like there will be some misunderstandings or difficulties uh, surrounding these relationships with this Mercury card. Um that's coming in here it's going to be very hard to communicate with someone effectively here okay someone that you left behind here um but i feel like uh there's this 
energy here, Sagittarius, like someone is coming back to apologize or to rekindle a relationship with you, okay? They're going to uh, invite you somewhere to celebrate some, um, who, okay, um, some achievement that they have gone through or uh, they want to reconnect back with you. That's what I'm seeing here, all right? So there's this possible conversation coming up from a past lover or friend here, okay? Just know that this Mercury energy here, they want you to communicate as clear as you can at this time here, okay? And really express yourself here through uh, talking and understanding. They're telling me something about you understanding, needing to understand someone. Someone's going to come to you with an important message here, okay, about how they feel. Let's see what this is here, okay? Someone's coming back from the past. What does this person want Sagittarius to know? They're letting me know that there's some turning point in a relationship here, okay? You may have had a difficult breakup or a, a friendship that you had in the past that ended very poorly. Okay. What does this person want Sagittarius to know? Okay. You have the, this person still thinks about you. Okay. And they want um, to reunite with you. You have the star card that's coming in here as well so i feel like they want to make peace with you this is either like i said a past lover or, or a past friend that is coming back towards you um that you may have a difficult time with so yeah let's go into your cards now you have the queen of swords showing up as you they want you to speak your truth Okay, regardless of who's coming back towards you or what's going on, they want you to always speak your truth here, okay? And make clear decisions for yourself, okay? They're saying with the Queen of Swords here that they want you to know uh, what you want and to express it in every area of your life, whether this is professional or romantic here, okay? That's what I'm saying, okay? What's crossing you is the Seven of Pentacles energy, that's coming in here okay they want you to communicate with vision when the queen of swords and the seven of pentacles is coming in here so that you can so you can get you can get exactly what you are seeking here okay so if you want someone to invest more time in you you want to know like why does this person want to rekindle a relationship or work on a connection with you uh why are you showing back up in my life because i feel like someone's going to be showing back up okay um whatever uh relationship you left in the past i feel like someone's returning here okay um to reconnect with you so so there's this need for you to communicate with vision and um, don't be anxious about a situation okay have patience while you're moving forward um, and don't forget um, that you matter here that's what I'm feeling spirit is saying don't forget that your feelings matter, okay? And don't forget how far you've come in your life as well. All of the changes that you've gone through here, okay? Um, there's this need for you not to forget what you've gone through here, okay? That's what I feel like they're saying. So what you need to focus on is your happiness here at this time, what makes you happy, okay? And not just to uh, try to... <sighs> make someone else happy like put their happiness before your own here okay um make sure that your desires are true to yourself okay and it's not a seed that someone else has planted okay um by their own needs here okay so i feel like spirit wants you to focus on your own pleasures your own desires your own success here at this time okay um yeah make sure whatever you're doing really deserves uh, your higher self here, okay? Whatever you're doing, whatever you're investing your time, your energy into, uh, make sure that it deserves your highest attention, <laughs> okay? You have the three of cups in your past here. Let's take a look at this as well. Since so it wants to show up twice, okay? This is a connection that you had, ooh, okay, that you stopped working on. You have the eight of pentacles. You either stop investing your time or your attention into a relationship or a connection, or this person did 
did this to you here okay so you guys were feeling very frustrated when it came to a connection here okay um and you decided to part ways here in the past what else would you like sagittarius to know about this past energy well, someone is going to come back with an offer towards you here Okay, I wanted to know why that's there. That Three of Cups is someone coming back with an offer. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be a Scorpio that you are dealing with here, okay? That's going to be coming back into your life here, okay? What's crowning you is the Eight of Cups here. <laughs> Look at what the card is saying. Abandon down there, okay? So... Let's see exactly what this energy is. I feel like in some way you're going to have a change of heart about someone, okay? Or someone is going to have a change of heart about you here. This is all about a relationship resurfacing. You have the Hermit card that is coming in here. If I can get it up there, okay? You have the Hermit card that's coming in here. And the, the cups are showing up because this is a, a relationship, a connection. I don't feel like it's business. I feel like it is a romantic relationship that is about to resurface <laughs> with the Wheel of Fortune energy that's coming in here. Okay, So there is going to be another go around with whoever this is. Okay, They've had a change of heart about you and you're going to see some movement uh, with this person again. They're going to be coming towards you with another offer here. Um, of love or interest here okay you have the strength card that's coming in letting you know you need to do what is best for yourself at this time um do what's best for you here Sagittarius okay let's clarify the strength card I'm recording. Ooh. <laughs> so if you're single right now know that you won't be single for long okay um also i have to put this out there okay because you get a lot of pentacles rolling in here or a few pentacles that i'm saying here i want you to know if you're single you won't be single for long someone's coming back into your life and you do know this person here okay towards virgo capricorn energy that i'm seeing here um or Scorpio that I'm seeing here, okay? And if you do not have a job, <laughs> okay, or you're looking for a better job, know that there is opportunity for that to happen for you as well as I'm looking at these pentacles that's rolling in here, okay? Because you have the nine of cups and you have the nine of pentacles, which lets me know that you're going to be successful in your life here, okay? Some of you guys are going to be single and success successful here. Uh, just to let you know, when it comes to your material wealth, you're going to have the money that you need to take care of yourself you're going to be gaining more knowledge about your job or your skill set uh what you're trying to study okay um and you're going to be perf perfecting your life perfecting um your skills here okay um and you're going to be happy and you're going to be uh content with the things that you receive here okay wish fulfillment if you're wishing for someone to come back or someone that you uh want it in your life here know that is going to happen as well okay like if if you wish that a relationship would have been better, there's going to be a turn of events that happens here. Your person is going to return back to you. I want to put that out there, okay? Because I'm seeing both storylines coming in here, okay? So it's not a bad thing. If you want a lover to turn come, come back to you, I do see this happening for you here, okay? But uh, Spirit is definitely letting me know that you should not deal with nonsense and drama and headache here, okay? Um, and I feel like this person may not necessarily do that because the Wheel of Fortune makes me feel like they've gone through a lot as well. And there is some change that may have happened with them here, okay? So you have the Page of Wands here. You're suggesting 
it approach. Look how funky <laughs> this person is on this card, okay? It just makes me chuckle a little bit here, uh, sad. So I feel like there's an offer coming in from someone. This person may have fire in their chart somewhere, okay? Um, but I feel like they want to have an important conversation with you that really shifts your idea about them and the connection that you guys had with each other, okay? Um, and they want you to see them in a new light here, okay? They want to uh, start something new here. So I feel like it is positive changes here. They want to grow with you or connect back with you in order to um, rekindle a relationship and grow with you here okay page of wands all right your suge suggested approach though okay make sure that whatever you're doing uh really benefits you that it feels good to you here okay um and spirit your spirit team wants you to embrace these new opportunities that are coming your way whether that it is a business a new job coming your way or a past relationship here okay um embrace new opportunities hear someone else out here i feel like that's your what your spirit team is letting me know they want you to hear someone out but um make sure you follow your in your instincts your intuition inside okay and do what feels good to you here okay so what do you need to know you have the eight of pentacles here okay i i, I still got those two storylines <laughs> okay when it comes to work and love because your your reading is like surrounding both um, they're putting a person, I'm seeing someone, I'm seeing a figure of someone returning, but you know who this is. They're a changed person in some way here, okay? That's what your spirit team wants me to know. But I also see you, on the other hand, changing as well. So you guys are maturing. You may have had to do this apart, though. Like there was some break or split between you and this individual here, but I see you guys coming back together to work on the connection hence the eight of pentacles that is coming in here okay so if you have parted from someone know that you guys are going to be thick as thieves when you return back to each other okay um and just personally with the eight of pentacles that's rolling in here they're letting me know that you need to continue to work on yourself and work on your own material stability um and work on your body as well work on your health um that's what I feel like they're wanting you to do. Work on your physical body. That's why you have the sixth house. I was looking for this. That's why you have the sixth house coming in here, okay? The work, health, and duty area of your life. Learn to work on that area. Uh, continue to do uh, what is best in your best interest for you here, okay? Whether that is going to school or taking up an apprenticeship or a training class or just self-educating yourself here or working on your finances and just getting your life together. That's what the Pentacles energy is about, okay? Work, money, your daily life and your body. That's why the Pentacles is showing up. They want you to know that this is an area that you need to focus on this week and throughout June. Okay, so your hopes and fears. You won't be sad. <laughs> I promise here, okay? Because there's a lot of good changes coming in your life here, Sagittarius. So you won't be left behind. Someone won't abandon you. Um, I feel like you won't be left alone here, okay? So just know that this uh, changes are coming in and it's going to be in your best interest. If you guys are feeling alone, left out, sad at this time, um, just know that there is going to be a change, okay? If there has been a loss in a job since the Pentacles is showing up, know that there will be a change um, to that area as well with the Wheel of Fortune coming in and the Nine of Pentacles letting me know that prosperity is uh it's around the corner for you basically okay so there will be a successful employment there will be peace in your life um when it comes to your material stability and comfort here okay that is in the near future so know that is that is around the corner for you here okay you have the hierophant <laughs> that wants to show up here well this is the emperor card excuse me the teacher this is the emperor card because number four is down here and you have 
uh, fire, Aries. So this is the Emperor card that's showing up. And this is in your potential future. Will you have control over your life? Sagittarius, hells yeah. Yes, you will have control over your life. That's what I'm feeling. They want you to take the lead, take control, okay? Um, I feel like your love life will be good and your career life will be good as well. They want you to step into that energy, step into that power, and know that you will be able to uh, rewrite the script, okay, from the past here, okay? So um, continue to build um, for yourself here, okay? That's what I'm feeling here with the emperor energy that is showing up. So will these things happen? The answer is yes. <laughs> yes, these things will happen. And I'm seeing three. I'm seeing 30. And then I'm seeing 303. Oh, my goodness. You guys are lucky. Those are some really good numbers that I just said, okay? I feel like... Um, yeah, the Most High is around you here, okay? Your spirit team is around you, guiding you uh, towards prosperity. So make sure that you show up for the party here, okay? All right, Sagittarius, that is your reading. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, loves, because I will be back with you. Take care of yourself. I'll see you guys in the next reading. Bye.